Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. I say good morning, we're very nearly in the afternoon, it's half 11. I had a bit of a slow start to the day, having a bit of a lay-in, had a bit of breakfast in bed, made a cup of tea, but there is housework that needs doing. I also need to hoover Spog and remake Spog ready for my next trip in April. So that needs sorting and I'm going to do that this morning. Brendan's car is going for its MOT and then he's siding it over to Kenzie because he just says he's really not up for driving, it's making him stressed. So he's tried, bless him, and he said if he ever needs to, he knows it, and he could probably go and pass a test with a few lessons or an intense course. So the car is being signed over to Kenzie because he really, really wants to drive. Um, so it's going for its MOT, and then we're sorting that out. I'm going to hoover, I'm going to dust, I'm going to put laundry on, and yeah, then go and sort Spog out, ready for his next adventure. And then I'm off to work with Joseph. Okay, Kenzie did a really good job of dusting last week, but he's going to have to dust a bit more again today because the problem with black furniture is the dust just collects. I flipped his mattress, put new bedding there for him to change his bed, put the other stuff to go in the laundry. I have not dusted in here, but I have hoovered. I need to put the radiator away because it's now getting warmer. Um, I need to give the bathroom a flick over. I did the toilet and stuff. Uh, yesterday, but I need to do the rest of the bathroom. Move it all the way down the stairs. Got some rubbish to put in the recycling. Move it all the way down here. Got laundry to put on, dishes to put away, recycling to empty. Um, dusting in here to do. And then I need to hoover through here. And I think I'm going to open up, let some air in because it's actually quite warm. And I need to go and clear the poo up that's out there. I don't know if you can see this, but I need to change this water because it's dirty. But it looks like all of the bits of straw are all sort of sideways on in a spiral. I don't know how obvious that is. It just intrigued me. Well, I'm glad I emptied that. That is a very big and very heavy dead rat that was at the bottom of the pond. <coughs> Let me go and see who's at the door. It would appear my dogs are alerting me to a presence at the door. There is indeed. That was a delivery which I believed wasn't coming until sometime between one and five past two. So it's either the same delivery or a different delivery. But either way, thanks to the dogs, I noticed that the delivery man was there. And we're going to dispose of the rat and then set the hose pipe up to refill up the pond because that's pretty disgusting. I don't think it had been there very long. It was still very much in one piece. I really should have done before and afters. There was no bedding on here at all. There was just boxes with things that needed either throwing away or sorting out and then putting under there my blinds and everything for the front here. Hadn't been folded up and the front here was absolutely filthy. So I've hoovered everything. I've finished that job now the pond is filled up the geese are clean uh the house is clean i haven't mopped i'm getting through the laundry uh, i might sit and do my puzzle for a little bit i've got about well i don't know if it's worth getting the puzzle out actually it's time i've got 45 minutes till i need to leave i could do my puzzle for a little bit couldn't i, I could probably sit for 45 minutes and do my puzzle i've got a cup of tea so yeah i might do that that's that's everything done then. Um, I'm not taking the dogs out. They were very stimulated yesterday and I just haven't really got time. It would have required me getting up earlier and I was enjoying relaxing. See, I am getting better at prioritising what my body sometimes needs. A little bit better. Anyway, the van is all sorted, so that's definitely a job off my list. There are a whole bunch of other things on my list, like cleaning the conservatory roof and clearing the guttering out the front that's growing a triffid. Um, in it but I'm going to designate that job I think the triffid job to Lee I will do the roof because I'm the lightest out of all of us to be able to get up on the roof and clean that but yeah he can do that other bit radio I need a wee so I'll come back to you in a bit
they can hear the geese eating vegetables. Anyway, it's two o'clock and I need to get my shoes on now and head off to Joseph's. And then I imagine we will be doing some storytelling and I shall be illustrating said stories because that seems to be our little thing that we do. Sometimes he has something fun to cook, so we might have that to do. Um, and it's a nice day, so potentially we could go for a walk if he's up for it. We'll just see what mum and dad have planned for us. Um, and then I need to stop off at Asda on the way home. I'm doing sort of lots of little shops at the moment, getting little bits in because Kenzie and I are eating a lot of fruit and veg. So um, topping up regularly with fresh fruit and veg to snack on. So, yeah, I'll pop into Asda on the way home and no doubt film some of that. See what we might be able to throw together over the weekend. My problem is I don't have a lot of time for actual cooking. And that is quite depressing because I'd like to cook us proper fresh meals. But the next best thing I can do is get us some relatively healthy, ready meals, you know, that are not too processed and are very good on the sort of um, green sections on the bands that you get. You know, we have like how much fat, sugar and everything. We like to try and get them as green as possible so that they're sort of the healthier options. But I do know they still have preservatives and stuff in, which is not good for the body. So I'm, I need to try and tackle that somehow and do some batch cooking. But again, that requires time where I can do some batch cooking. Okay, I will see you in a bit. Mm. Spicy treats. I might try those for Kenzie. Okay, I've so got the Rubicon stuff. Lots of calories. What have you found, Joseph? Oh, the cream eggs. Yeah. Right, oh, yeah. Joseph's story this week is, once upon a time, AJ had a broken leg and was walking with crutches. <laughs> Blaze turned into an accessible vehicle and Orange started to play with crutches and lifts. Just then, the evil P came along and thought Orange was bullying AJ, so she joined him. David, Miguel and Sarah came along. David was in a wheelchair because he had broken his leg too. David didn't like what Orange was doing either. Weibei was walking and said, Ooh, a pea. And as soon as Orange noticed the evil pea, she realised what she was doing was wrong and stopped right away. AJ wasn't upset with Orange because he knew Orange didn't know about crutches and wheelchairs. In Orange's world, the only colours that move differently are black, white and greys. David was crying because of what Orange did. So Storm jumped onto him and said, Bleh! which made David laugh. But the evil pea then started to cry because Orange wasn't bullying anyone. She was just a kid and didn't know about the real world. All this commotion made Storm turn sassy. Storm started to cry with emotion. The end. <laughs> Very good, Joseph. I have finished hanging out with Joseph. It's a beautiful sunny day today. It's amazing. The weather forecast said rain, 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 and it's just beautiful. Anywho, I'm going to go into Asda now and just grab a trolley, get a few bits and bobs. I need to get some lunches for Lee next week as well. He likes to have rice and um, some sort of curry to take to work with him. And Kenzie has asked for some low sugar or low calorie ice cream so you can have a little treat that's not too fatty or too sugary. And I'll have a little look around and see what we can find for food for this week. What yummies we have in store for us.
I might have got a little carried away with some plants. A little bit, maybe. My garden's going to look beautiful though. It is, and it's going to be good for the wildlife. Like the bees and the butterflies and all the insects. Some time has passed since I last spoke to the camera and I haven't actually got the microphone plugged in, so sorry. Um, I went to Asda, did the Asda shop, as you saw, and then I came home, we put the shopping away, and Lee reminded me I'd got my second attunement for my Reiki, which I'm really glad he reminded me of, because it had slipped my mind. I had remembered it up until yesterday, uh, up until today. So I went and had my second attunement, and it was very nice, I feel ready. Um, I just need to be signed off the course now, and I will officially be... Uh, level two Reiki. I'm having harissa chicken, which is marinated chicken pieces with a harissa dressing, sultanas, brown rice, pickled red cabbage, and adamore beans, which I can't stand usually, but don't mind them in a meal like this. <laughs> 